the annual election for the next set of UN Security Council members may lack the drama of presidential elections, but it's not without surprises. A late entry for the 15-member council upset some of the predictability this time. El Salvador submitted its candidacy just hours ahead of the ballot. However, it only picked up six votes and was comfortably beaten by St Vincent and the Grenadines with 185. Niger, Tunisia and Vietnam, all running uncontested, easily got the two-thirds majority they needed to secure their spots. But with voting split, Estonia needed a second round of ballots to beat Romania. Many of the countries joined the council with high hopes. We need to work together to prevent war conflict and we try our best to resolve the ongoing ones. Tunisia will be the voice of Africa and the Arab world. An historic occasion. We are the smallest country ever to be elected as a non-permanent member of the Security Council. The real power remains with the permanent five members, China, Russia, the US, UK and France, who have the power to veto resolutions. The other countries are elected for staggered two-year terms. Some analysts believe the new members could exert change. Vietnam and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, who are pretty suspicious of Western policy at the UN, and they're likely to be lining up with China and Russia. Western diplomats do think it's going to be a bit harder to get the votes they need to pass resolutions here in New York. That could mean the US potentially finding even less support on issues like Venezuela, Iran and Syria. The new members start work on the council on the 1st of January next year. Until then, it's time to form alliances and formulate agendas before joining the world's premier body for safeguarding peace and security. Nick Harper, CGTN, New York.